Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you how to create the dispersion effect in Adobe Photoshop. If you guys enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. So right here I have a picture of Roddy Rich. The only thing you really need to know how to do is how to cut images out of backgrounds. There's multiple ways to do this. You can use the pen tool, you can use the quick selection tool. Uh, but just learn how to do that before you follow this tutorial. So basically, there's going to be no background. It's going to be a black background. You can add a background later. But the first thing you want to do is cut out the subject. So in this case, it's Roddy Rich. So we're going to just use the pen tool. I'll speed it up a little bit so you guys don't have to really watch. So right there we're basically done I did that kind of quick and then you just want to delete the background make sure you right click and press rasterize before you do anything or there's gonna be a couple of errors uh, while you're doing this tutorial and now you want to press ctrl D to deselect and now you want to duplicate this layer so you want to press ctrl J while selecting the layer and now you have two of them now what you want to do is you want to liquefy one of them so I'm gonna choose the bottom layer for this one you want to go to filter liquify and you want to use this tool that basically warps the image so right here you want to select the first one and use a forward warp you can press w instead and i'm just going to make the brush smaller you want to choose which side you want to disperse uh, the image so i'm going to do the right side and you just want to drag basically it gives you something to work with um and yeah and press ok once you're done so there you have it. Now what you want to do is create layer mask. So for the top one, you just want to press the layer mask button on the bottom. And for the second layer, you want to press Alt and press on the layer mask. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to download a new brush. Basically, this brush uh, will help create the dispersion effect. Because if you go to the default brushes, there's nothing really there. Like there's nothing that screams out like splatter or anything like that. But with these, there's a lot of these like decay brushes, so it works out perfectly. So to import the brushes, you want to just go to brushes and then you want to select right here. Press on the gear icon and press import brushes. So here is the brush that we downloaded. I already imported it, so I don't have to do this. Now I want to find one that's good. So I can just go through them. So let's just say we choose this one, right? And we want to sort of delete some of the inside. What I mean by this is... We're going to select on the layer mask, so make sure that it's selected on the white. And we're going to select the color black. And we're just going to use a brush on the inside where the dispersion effect is going to start. So you can see what that does. Like part of him is getting deleted basically. So there we got it. And now on the second layer, we want to select on the black layer mask. And you want to switch the color. And basically it brings back some of the original image where we warped it. And we can switch the brushes so there's like a little bit of like variation so there we have it that's basically it obviously you can do a better job than me if you take your time now what we want to do is possibly create a background so we can just merge these two actually let's duplicate these two and then press ctrl e to merge and maybe we can just hide these so let's just say we have this we can just create a new layer and press alt backspace maybe actually that looks a little bit weird we might need a white background maybe Maybe we could add a gradient map so that it's sort of more unified. So we can do something like this. So if we try to make it a black background, what will happen actually is you won't be able to see it. So what you can do uh, to combat that is you want to select on the layer, which actually creates that effect and you want to just invert it. And then you want to create a clipping mask. So it's only applied to that. So now you can have it on a black background. It'll just be a different color. Um, I think that looks better honestly 
So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.